I am uh, recording this in regards to the Hyperkin Do controller um, having some issues with the left trigger and the D-pad on the dashboard menu. That's my receipt from GameStop. I bought it at on the date of May 11th, 2018. Um, so what happens when I try it navigating the dashboard? It'll skip every other page. So I have to be like really sensitive in order to hit that. Um, it's very difficult, very annoying. When I go into the dashboard and try going over to settings, you can see I'm pushing down D-pad and it doesn't want to go, but if I hold it down just long enough, I could get it on settings and select it. But then when I go into my account, I'm trying to get down there, I can't fight it. So usually I have to hit the D-pad and the left joystick in order to get down to the connecting devices, but all it does is do uh, key mapping for the controller. So um, let's go on in to Destiny. Oh, see I can't even get into Destiny right now. So I have to use the joystick. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, so that's like my one of my biggest issues, but when I first had it, the number one issue that I had was the left trigger. When I go into my inventory menu, sorry, it takes a while for Destiny to load because, you know, Bungie with their five minute loading screens. Um, but the main issue that I've had with my directory, um, with the, the joystick, is when I try to compare the number, I'll hold the left trigger down and it's supposed to show the numbers of my other guns, but sometimes it kind of freaks out and it doesn't want to do it. Um, and then while I'm in combat, it will also start zooming in randomly. Like right there, that menu that just popped up, that wasn't supposed to pop up. And I'm not even holding the left trigger right now. And that milestone is supposed to pop up like that and I release it. And sometimes if I pull it quick enough, it doesn't want to do it. Um, so let's go over here. Um, I'll go back into the menu in a second. See if I could try holding the left trigger. See, I'm holding the left trigger. No numbers are showing up. I try again, there it goes. So holding it down again, not working. And it's working. And sometimes it freaks out like that, how it's flashing like that. So I don't know what the issue is there. Um, I do have controller plugged in. It's nice and secure. I have the USB plugged into the side of the Xbox. I tried doing the back. Um, and it's just poltergeisting right there. Um, still loading in. So I'll just play around with this a little bit more, show you guys what's going on. Um, try going over here. The, you know, just to navigate the menu here, you don't have any D-pad or, you know, moving around. It's all joystick. The joystick works fine. Um, it's just when I'm trying to hit the left trigger to compare weapons that it does not like it at all. So, I mean, it works sometimes, and then other times it doesn't want to work. But um, whenever I load into the planet, I can show you what happens sometimes when I'm running and I zoom in. Um, it's very annoying when you're halfway through flight and you're over a cliff and it decides to zoom in on you and it cancels your jump, and you fall to your death. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, it's just minor things um, that can be a big effect for $80 controller. Um, other than that, I absolutely love the size of the controller. Like, my hand is just massive. Um, so I'm zooming in, and it just did it right by itself. See? Just glitching out. I don't know if it's a connection from the cord to the Xbox. There it goes again. Not even doing anything. Just poltergeist zooming in and out. Um, it's super weird. So um, that's that's my report for you guys. I just put the controller down and I'm not even zooming in. So left joystick, zooming in, nothing. My other controller, I got the batteries out of the controller. I am not good at this kind of stuff. Yeah, see, batteries out of the wireless controller, so 
Yep, that is my issue. So hopefully we can fix it, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you.